Wonder, how'd you like Felseal Arbiter's Mark compared to Disgaea? Just picked it up. They're different. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Weekend, fire. So we want to stand on yellow. Do we have somebody stuck on the exit pattern? No. I'll make it work. Or we'll just kill all the enemies. I don't want to spend too much time. Question. Character. Can I rearrange? I should have done that before I went in. Because unfortunately I'm going to have to be flipping through a lot of UI here. Anyway, uh, to answer the question, I would say they're kind of... They're definitely different games. My problem is... Felseal Arbiter's Mark is very definitively a game meant to be a spiritual successor to Final Fantasy Tactics. And so the real question would be like, which do I like more, Final Fantasy Tactics or uh, Disgaea? And that actually is a bit more of a tight question to ask. What color is this on? Blue. What colors do we have? So we'd have to get everything up on yellow. Actually, as long as I get... Uh, Blue and green on yellow, that'll be good enough. And then I just have to make sure I hit blue first. But no, I think I think um hmm. I think I have trouble describing which I like more. I'm not very good at comparing games that I like together and saying like which one's better. Disgaea is definitely more immediately grind heavy. And a little bit more statistics base where based, whereas uh, Felseal Arbiter's Mark is very much like a more tactical game, uh, and that your RPGs like levels and stats and whatnot do play a huge factor. But with the right tactics, you can kind of ignore it in in a way that like you really just cannot do in a Disgaea game. Let's see. Are we good to go? All of them are on yellow except for the one on blue. And if I hit blue, we're good to go. Okay. Have him right there. Oh, so he only gets one bonus action. That's a bit of a shame, but I understand why. Let's see. Does Fel Seal have something like the item world? Not even close. Oh, if I'm... Uh, nope, that's a green panel. Why the heck? And how the heck? Okay, I'm gonna just have to chuck her across. Wait. Oh, never mind. spots. Okay, so if I have Fuka go here. That's the safe spot. You don't you do not want characters to stand on geo panels if you're trying to get them um if you're trying to do the combos because it'll explode in your face and it hurts. Question, she can't match a change. She can't match a change. Anybody else? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't have enough characters that can match a change yet. That's part of the reason why I was going after the DLC characters, because I was hoping some of them would be able to magic change. And some can. Uh, let's see. I guess we could do this. I'll hit the Invincible Mushroom and trigger everything. Perfect. Uh, but no, Felsiel Arbor's Mark is a much more, like, linear story thing. There are some interesting side quests and stuff, but it's not really a game that's meant to be grinded through a bunch. You can change the difficulties accordingly, and that more or less will kind of achieve the same effect, because you'll have to grind, but it's not like you go into the item world over and over and over again. It's more like your characters learn abilities based on their class, and you can kind of mix, mix and match between multiple classes. It's still a great system, and I have a lot of fun with it. I gotta go back and finish it. Uh, that might be something sooner than later. We'll just hit the sucker. 
There we go. We get mostly junk, but that's okay. Ha! Recovery and forever counter. Oh, that looks fun. Solving this one would be cool. So we want to go stand on green. I will give uh, Felseal Arbiter's Mark some credit, though, uh, beyond just what I've already kind of said. It is a very competent JRPG, trying to... Trying to, like, properly live up to much more successful series, I guess, if that makes sense. I don't know if you've ever played Final Fantasy Tactics, but, like, those games were just downright rad. And there hasn't been, like, a proper successor to the... To the, uh... Hasn't been a proper successor to the Final Fantasy Tactics series in a while. And so, uh... To the team that specifically made Felseal Arbiter's Mark, yeah, they actually managed to pull it off. Not quite to the same level of, like, depth or breadth, but still comp competently and quality. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I guess it would remind me of, like, CrossCode. So I guess it's hard It's hard to compete with even, like, CrossCode, because that game is freaking stupid good. Kill that guy. I love Ogre Tactics on the PSP. I've actually never played or Ogre Tactics. It's, it's definitely high on the list of games that, like, I would like to load up and do a series on someday. Uh, just because I hear it thrown around constantly. Okay. So this thing moves. Oh, so that's why we didn't get recovery. I guess I'm just going to lift this. Let's kill these guys. That's ally damage, so we do not want to be on that. I think we want to get every block on purple. That guy might be too tanky. But that's okay. damage? Nah. Hit Orobus if you can. Okay, you didn't kill Orobus. But that's fine. End turn. Oh, I guess we're gonna kill all these guys before we can trigger any kind of combos. I guess we don't have to. Oh, we don't. We do have purple there. Everything on Cyan. Nothing is on Cyan. Yeah, I don't care that much. We're just gonna kill these guys. Going for the bonus panels is fun, but time-consuming. Also, we got a decent amount regardless. What do these guys have? When enemy level up 10%. That is one thing I should actually be doing, is piling enemies on top of each other to kill them and getting bonuses. I'm kind of lazy about it this time around. And the one problem with the item world that I... I know why they do it still. But I really wish with the item worlds you weren't... Um, you didn't have to do 10 levels at a time. I think that worked better back in the day. But as it stands, like, I kind of wish I could alternate between, like, plot mission, item world, plot mission, item world. But as it stands... You have to commit to being here. That's okay. I was looking up, uh... I was looking up, actually, a number of these Nipponichi software products. Because I actually haven't heard of a lot of them. 
and it was kind of interesting to see how many NIS games that they keep referencing with, like, characters and and small, like, plot lines and whatnot that are just games that will never, ever come to the U.S. It feels a bit weird, because I'd like to try them, and I'm sure there's, like, a fan translation or something like that, but I don't know. Let's to play them. Thanks, Salve. I wish we got one mission. Okay. I think Hugo, uh, Hugo's on the Promise Unforgotten mission. Gotcha. On the plus side, we are able to just, like, work through this place really quick. What we're looking for is innocence. Well, there's an innocent, innocent gate, which is what we're looking for. Also a bunch of other stuff. I think I might just pop out and just hit these. Big enough. Bam! I hit the clear. Oh well. It certainly gives me a lot more leeway though. Right, we want to go from the bottom, grab gig. Pretty easy way to get all sorts of bonus mana. I don't know. I I wish I had used the magic change set up a lot more the, in my previous playthrough. Because I did, and it was bad. Well, bad? I don't know. I just... I could have done it better. And now that I know, I'm like, oh. Whoops. Sword Balmon. I guess I might as well use some of my moves. Level them up a bit. Ish. Okay. Oh, right. That reminds me... Oh, wrong one. I actually need to get Death and Measle his, uh... His spells. He actually didn't have any yet. Well, I guess no time like the present. I have nobody that turns into a staff, right? Detailed steps. Does it say, yeah, magic change type. Axe, sword. Man, I really do not have enough monster characters for what I want to do. Soul Reaper. Soul Reap that chest! Bam, there we go. Phantom Brave's another really interesting Nipponichi one on Steam. Yeah, uh, Phantom Brave is actually the first of the Nipponichi software games I've played. Uh, I also have not finished it. At some point I will sit down and, and play through it with Shell, probably. Okay, I kind of need to make sure I go for that innocent gate. Before all the enemies kill themselves on me. Okay. There we go. Question. Can I just chuck one through it? Looks like I can. Okay, let's kill a couple of them first. Just to get the EXP. Oh. I failed. A measle. Avenge me. Oh. That's kind of cute. I think Death Measle's design is actually one of my favorites. I wish he wasn't the whiny kid. I wish he was... Well. Sayonara, Flan. I freaking goofed again. I always forget the character that has the pretty bow. Like, every single time. Oh well. Okay. So, event area. You get a certain number of characters on this area. An event can be triggered. I'd love for you to try it out. Keep in mind, once you leave the item world... Okay. So, event area. Oh, this thing. I need four people up here.
Deathblow Invincible. Deathblow Super Expansion. Death. Uh. I feel like it's in my best interest to just wreck shop immediately. Okay. No more super expansion. That'll do. Okay, I want to just move people out here. Hopefully uh, the enemies don't just all kill themselves on me. Because that would be mildly unfortunate. Uh, let's see. There we go. And we want to go back. Yig. And we can use one of the random just DLC characters. A couple of them, really. Because effectively, I just want to... I want to trigger that event. I want to see what's up there. Anything else? Nope, we can't dispatch anybody else. Well... Adele might be a little bit stronger than I gave him credit for. Uh, let's see. Oh, shit. He can just hop right up. Well, the Torres can't. Okay, he can. What about Fuka? She cannot. Lift this. I'm just gonna use this block as a stepping stone. There we go. Okay, so all we have to do is just protect Ranger Red against all comers. And I, he actually is pretty well insulated right now, so this is pretty good. Okay, got it. That's the block. I need that block. Okay, so far so good. Cram, chuck cram. Alright. Event! Mystery gate has appeared. Oh, cool. Well, I guess at this point we can just go wreck everything. Uh... That guy. Gonna hit Dogar. I was really hoping for something a little bit more exciting, but oh well. We'll get it next time. Let's see. Anyone know how Discord works? Because you're new to Discord and you have no clue. Uh, you gotta read the rules page before you can proceed in Discord. I was, uh, now that I have a partner discord server and thus a publicly available like link question mark because it's just discord.gg slash wanderbots uh i wanted to have a landing page just in case like spam bots showed up uh, what's up with her oopsie daisy looks like you found me what do you think of the item world it's a little rough for newcomers to get used to but it's pretty awesome i don't know if my microphone's pointing to the right way no it wasn't ha that might have been why i was quiet anyway so to celebrate our meeting, I'll give you a single Mr. Jensi exit. Just be careful not to get yourself killed. Hmm? What can I do for you? Well, that was it. Back to the item world. Hey! Is this... Who is this? Is one of the managers. Perfect. We need to kick his ass. Because 
Because if I beat him, I get to move him to another, uh, another item. And some other things. Is he dead? He's dead. Perfect. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna sort my my character list after this and switch it around specifically so that all of the characters and their associated magic change weapons are all lined up. Hmm. In retrospect, we might actually want to use Adele. Because if I remember right, he just does 30% extra damage to any any enemy that he goes into single combat against. Which is actually really stupidly good. I don't think he's supposed to use axes, though. I'll have to get him a fist weapon that isn't butts. There we go. Pretty sure that's not going to do enough damage. Yeah, Measle is not not my strongest at all. But that's okay. He's going to get smacked, isn't he? Sort of. Hold our cross. There we go. I always feel like I'm not doing nearly enough. Or, no, I'm on B7. That's not so bad. Okay, attack plus 15%, 50%. So hanging on the reds. Let me see. I'm gonna move these guys here. We're just gonna go faster. I like the item world, but it's not actually the best grinding location in the game. Kind of better that I just uh, go quick. used by main two. Eventually it becomes a better grinding place, but even then, like, as far as EXP goes, eh, there's better. Come for me. Fight me. There. They will do so. Are they my guys? They kind of are. Let's see. But yeah, I, I have mixed feelings on doing item world too much, specifically on camera. I like it, it's fun, but it's also the kind of thing that I could just do, like, idly while watching a YouTube video, and it'd be about as, about the same. I know some people really like the grind bits, but I think I'd be better off, let's take a look, what do we got? Eh, nothing fancy. I think I'd be better off just saving that for, like, my own time, because that's part of the reason why I like Disguise so much, is just kind of the, you turn your brain off and just wreck shit for a while. Whereas the plot stuff, I don't know. That's... Oh, shoot. I really wish there was a special animation for every one of the main characters, but it's fine. I guess it's not actually that long. Let's see. Bombastic? Yeah. But, uh... I don't know. I mean, I'm always going to record all the plot... plot-related missions. Because it'd be silly not to. Okay, now she doesn't have anything other than... Eh, Angle's bad for Glorious Hitter. We'll just do Balmung. The other thing is, uh, since the item world takes so, so long, like, there's, there's no guarantee I'm even going to find the, uh... If I wait right here... Uh, let's we'll gig out. We've got super expansion, so all I have to do is just wait a bit. 
Plus all the enemies kill themselves on Velvetors. It's a possibility. And none of these are death blow. The only only thing I have to worry about is defense. I guess I'm gonna have him move over here. That'll be fine. Because, yeah, Red's going to take over the whole map in, like, a second. Only issue is that Velvetor is going to get hit in the wayside, but that's okay. We feel cheated. How so? Hey, he actually leveled up. Probably more Minecraft stuff, if you're still playing Minecraft. I had a good time. I don't know. I, I've i recently started playing Minecraft again, which I'm assuming most people watching the stream at this hour know about, but and maybe people watching on YouTube know about. But not the kind of game that I normally would have just loaded up on a whim. Mainly just because, I don't know. It just never was my thing before now. And so it's actually kind of neat to experience it for the first time. Okay, do I get the treasure chest? Please tell me this triggers the treasure chest. I don't think it does, actually. Well, oh no, there it goes. Please let me get the item at least. I deserve it, the item. Bang. Uh, let's see. They actually didn't die. That's unusual, actually. Sort of unusual. I don't have any bows. Well, who needs the level? Fenric needs the level. And, to a lesser degree, Prier. Big fan of Prier's design. Though I was actually looking, uh, I was talking about the Nipponichi software, uh, specifically that, like, will never come to the U.S., Apparently, uh, like, Prier's, Prier's game will never come to the U.S. specifically. And that's actually one of the ones that I kind of wish it would, because it looked interesting. Because apparently she starts as a demon hunter and then, like, goes super evil because of her, like, thirst for power. And I'm going to be honest with you, I actually kind of want to see how that story would play out. And there's no resident up here, is there? No, there ain't. Blech. Well, we want to beat. We want to beat the boss. Yeah, the problem is there's no. Let's see. That'll hit Shiro. Anything else? I guess we'll hit Shiro. We heal after this one anyway. Bang! Hey, defeated the item general. Cool. I'm just gonna head for the innocent door. I guess I might as well kill some of them first. Okay, so Demon Force... now oh, does care. I was really hoping it would hit the guys lower, but they are too low. I tried learning Japanese just to play the games that being imported. I wish I had that kind of time. Ow. Bloody hole. I should get him poison resistance if I can. Well, I should have been careful. Standing on blue would have been death blow. That would have been bad. Yeah, I, I'd love to learn a foreign language. Ow. Shoot, that hurts. I'd love to learn a, uh... Go to base map. Levels up a bunch of times. Actually, this heavy sword might end up being a pretty good item, all things considered. Oh. I didn't mean to go back to the base map. Uh, well, I mean, it's got about the same effects. 
How much money do I have? 176. That's okay. Yeah, kanji is hard. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with, like, a lot of these things. It's like, man, it would be really cool to learn these things, but, like, holy shit. It's a whole different other language. Oh, she actually learns star. I'm a little bit surprised that Mao is a physical attacker. I would have expected him to be a caster. She's a caster. Let's see. The measles are pretty good out all rounder too, which kind of surprised me a little bit. Uh, let's see, what can Flan learn? We might as well have her learn that. Uh, let's see. What about Aceros? Because yeah, anybody, has anybody learned anything else that's ac actually been halfway useful? And what about Evil Tees? Absorb 10% of the defeated unit's stats. Holy shit, that's good. That's really good. Anybody else have anything useful? She has Masteries. She has Love Field. Nulls all instant death effects on all ally on, on allies. That's that's good. We'll save up for that, but that's gonna be very expensive. Okay, what about him? I guess I might as well... ...grab some of these. Grab poison vaccine. Poison's an issue. Uh, let's boost skill on Fenric. Let's do... let's boost dual canine attack. make it kind of expensive. Wreck business with it. Let's see, wonder how far are you into this? Uh, there are ten chapters total, plus... Uh, so ten of these episodes, plus two plot-related... I'm assuming both of these are plot-related stuff. And then there's also a side story with Fuka and Desco. So... Realistically, halfway point, but I got a lot of grinding to do uh, before I'm done, which is, you know, it is what it is. Let's go do some story stuff before I stop for the night, though, because I'd like, I, I, I'll do the item world stuff off camera. It's just hard to commentate over, too.